Hey guys, we are live streaming this video because I'm too lazy to do it properly. I just don't have time really. It is, you know, quarantine week here in Canada. Um, probably quarantine week for the next couple months even. Hard to say. Uh, I do a lot of live streaming work. Um, producing it, running software for it, working for companies, consulting. Um, I do a lot of a lot of things, but live streaming is one of my more passionate uh, things I do when I work. And I like to write software for people that make their experience at live streaming easier. And so in this video, I wanted to show a tool I made a few years ago and Considering how live streaming has skyrocketed in popularity in the last few days, 500% growth um, I'm seeing in, in traffic. So just in the last day, boom. So I figured I'd make this video and spend some time updating some of the code I wrote for this project. Uh, the project is called OBS.Ninja. So I, I made this a few years ago and I kind of let it fall aside, but I think it would be valuable for people who are doing live streaming today. Okay, so there is a piece of software and that piece of software is called OBS Studio, Open Broadcaster Software. And you can download it for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, whatever. So that's free to download and it's, very popular. It's probably the most popular downloadable production software for live streaming, at least in the consumer sense. And and I'm using it actually right now uh, to live stream this video. So here we are. We are live streaming and I'm showing it on itself. And if you click this little button here, you can add different video elements. Right, so you can add a display, you can add a browser, audio, uh, capture um, cards, but there's no option to bring in a friend. There's no option to bring in a group of people. That's not really built in. You can bring in local devices, but you can't bring in remote devices. And so that's what OBS Ninja tries to solve. And so what we have is you can go to obs.ninja and it takes you to this page. And yeah, uh, it's still under development. Although it used to be fully feature rich uh, because I'm re redeveloping it um, from scratch. A couple of the features won't be done for a few more days. The group video chat functionality uh, won't be properly probably done for a few days at least. Um, but at the moment you can do screen sharing. So if you have another computer, you can share the screen of that other computer to your local OBS. Where this is kind of cool is if you're gaming on another laptop, you can have one computer for gaming and one computer for kind of doing the actual video production, streaming out um, to the cloud, talking to people. So you could have OBS on one computer and gaming on the other and not really destroy your frame rates. Uh, you can also, I guess, use it for like streaming Netflix, whatever. Um, and then we have the, the primary function and that's adding a remote camera. And so we cl click allow and we see that we've added our HDMI camera, that's local. Click a link and we can see the camera in the browser. And if I go to a new tab and I paste that link in, boom, the webcam shows up. So what we're doing is we're streaming the camera to um, over the internet back to my browser. And the latency is really, really small. You might be getting echo, so I'll mute it. Um, and that's an interesting thing. There's a button here to mute this video. And yeah, um, here, what I've actually done is I've loaded it onto an iOS app. 
So well, it's a uh, if you just go to obs.ninja on Safari on your iOS app on iOS, you can get a link and copy that link in to your browser. Um, yeah, so the, the links there. And now your iPhone is a remote camera, right? No wires, and you can just use that, which is really kind of cool, especially since these iPhones today have really good cameras in them. Uh, so this is like an iPhone 11. Uh, the selfie camera, too, which is kind of incredible. How is this a selfie camera? I don't know. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, I'm live streaming to YouTube right now, as you see. Um, and this is actually... Uh, check this out. This is actually how I'm recording this video right now. So I'm actually pr bringing in the HDMI camera I'm recording with through the internet, through OBS Ninja, into OBS. So everything you're seeing is actually being recorded through the internet. Um, and I can demonstrate that a little bit by unmuting my local microphone. Test. Test. So you, so you can, can tell, tell there's, there's an audio, audio difference. difference. Now we're talking. Video is. That might be out of sync a bit. So and turn that back on. And so you have a lot of functionality that's specific for OBS. Um, the software is completely free. It's very low latency. And it, it offers noise cancellation, audio um, auto gain, and echo cancellation all built in. So that's something that OBS is kind of hard to set up with. Um, and this software kind of does it just right out of the box. Um, so yeah, check it out. Uh, it's, again, it's obs.ninja. It's free to use. Add camera, and you can start live streaming. If you, well... If you're creative, you can currently use the current setup to do a ton of things. Um, you don't have to screen capture or anything like that. You have audio controls and and more is coming. So uh, if you want to give me feedback, it's steve at again.email or just drop comments in the YouTube video, really. And I really appreciate any of the feedback because it just kind of motivates me to keep working on this. I don't really intend to make money off this. I have enough work to do already, but um, it is the quarantine era, 2020. And I think this would be a cool tool for everyone. So I just wanna make sure you're aware of it so that you can have you know, a lot of fun while locked inside. Anyways, um, that's the end of the rambling. Have a good night, guys. I'm tired. Bye.